So let's talk about the fact that interest rates are still high for now. And uh, we've heard you say that that means that returns on annuities, they're at their highest level since 2001 because they are, in fact, based on interest rates. Is that true across the board when it comes to all the annuities? How do interest, interest rates actually impact them? Uh, you know, annuities can be a confusing topic. We recently had an event where we invited uh, the public out to come and learn about the ins and outs and pros and cons, uh, good, bad, and the truth about annuities. When we look at annuities, um, really what happens is you can break annuities down into the different type of an annuity that's out there. The first type that you have, uh, the most basic type that's out there is called a multi-year guaranteed annuity, also oftentimes referred to as like a fixed annuity. With a multi-year guaranteed annuity, what ultimately you're doing is you're purchasing an annuity that is going to give you a fixed amount of interest for a set period of time. And, you know, when we look at that type of an annuity, it's tied to most of the fixed interest rates that are out there. And, and that is one of the areas where we've seen some of the highest rates in, you know, 20 plus years because of where fixed rates are today. That rate, when we look at fixed rates today, you know, money markets are fairly attractive with uh, some of the higher interest money market accounts for liquid money. I think FDIC insured bank CDs are, you know, good spots for that one to you know, two-year type money, and where a fixed annuity can come into play is money that, you know, somebody wants to have a fixed rate of return for anywhere from, you know, three to 10 years. I have seen uh, some of the offers in the insurance companies of America, you know, in the five plus percent range, and, uh, you know, those rates may go down and probably will go down uh, in the future when interest rates go down. The second type that you have that is out there is called an index annuity. And what an index annuity is an account that allows you to participate when an underlying index is positive. Um, These type of accounts, they're typically tied to what is called a cap rate, which would be referred to as the maximum return that you could get. You know, a few years ago, uh, it wouldn't be uncommon to see uh, a cap rate in an indexed annuity to be in the four to six percent range that meant that on any given year if that underlying index went up uh, the most that that investor could get is four to six percent now it's not uncommon to see some of the uh, index annuity rates uh, that are being offered or at uh, double digit type returns you know where you have the ability to make eight uh, you know ten percent type rate of returns obviously we'll see what renewal rates are because those rates on an index annuity can change on a year-by-year basis but we have seen a, a dramatic increase in the ability to have a higher cap rate. Um, there's also what's called a participation rate, which means, you know, how much of the market would you get? As an example, a 50% participation rate meant that if the underlying index went up by 10%, uh, 50% of that would be a 5% gain for that account owner. Variable annuities, uh, on the other hand, the variable annuities are the ones that go up and down uh, within the stock market. Variable annuities tend to be more popular products for, you know, people who want to take full equity type exposure or maybe have an asset allocation of stocks and bonds type exposure in a portfolio. And interest rates don't necessarily uh, impact much for variable annuities because of the fact that their return is based upon the performance of the underlying sub-account that they invest into uh, versus fixed rates. Now, when we're talking on income, you know, when we look at the, the uh, ability for some annuity to have what is called an income rider, we also see that uh, interest rates can have an impact on the income offers that are out there. You know, if you're 55 and the amount of payment that you want to get from the insurance company uh, for the rest of your lifetime, higher interest rates means that you can lock in a potential higher lifetime income. Um, if you're younger, if you're, say, 85 the higher interest rates may not matter as much for uh, income-driven type of annuities. And there is uh, certainly that possibility of interest rate cuts. I mean, they talk about interest rates cuts coming up here in the next few months. Mm -hmm. It could fall later this year. And, you know, although uh, rates may be a little bit higher because of where the inflation numbers are, the possibility of declining rates uh, could make it a, a good time Uh, For those folks that are out there, if you have an annuity that's three or four or five years old, uh, maybe an annuity that you've had for a long time and you're wondering, you know, what are the rates like today compared to what I have? That's where an annuity review 
uh, can be a, a good time to do that. I think we're really at, again, the sweet spot before interest rates come down to have an independent portfolio analysis done on the annuity, uh, whether you're looking for a higher potential growth rate, uh, whether you're looking for a higher potential fixed rate, or whether you're looking for you know, more predictable income in the account, that's kind of what the analysis uh, can be done. Now, I know, Dave, in your case, you also utilize uh, the independent income system, which is our diversified approach. And, you know, where it makes sense, utilizing annuities and client accounts uh, can also be a good idea. Are you seeing the same thing, you know, when you're meeting with clients and talking to them about annuity reviews? Absolutely. I would say that it's a, it's a very good practice to do these annuity reviews every couple years or so. You know, think the environment can change fairly rapidly, and with interest rates being where they are, if a person is looking at a fixed annuity, now would be the time to think about buying one and locking that return in. The other thing I would add with this is that with the interest rates and re- interest rate cuts, my belief is that that's going to all happen after the election because they don't want it to be a hot-button topic that's going to garner votes for either the current government or or any particular candidate. So I mm-hmm. think all of those potential rate cuts are going to get pushed back till later on in the year. You might see two happen real late November and December. But so you're, where you are in the sweet spot to take a look at those types of rates and types of annuities. So the review is a very valuable exercise, and I would encourage anyone that owns an annuity of any type to want to do that at least every couple years. Just to make sure that, you know, what you've got is still working in your favor. Obviously, we've said this many times here, uh, annuities aren't right for everybody out there. They cover uh, a, a wide variety of different topics, uh, d- different different things that you may encounter in your retirement. There is the growth potential. There is the income potential. Uh, it could be of value to you, but it is a good time to, uh, you know, as these interest rates are high, being able to explore if, if they could be a part of your retirement plan or review the ones that you've already got. Having that uh, independent uh, annuity review uh, begins with reaching out to the team at America's Retirement Headquarters. You can do so by going to the website, ARHQ.com, or you can give a call right now, 419-794-3030.